Ooh, for all time's sake. Now, with that preview, of course, you know, say we get some people waiting inside the studio right now. I love that preview. And the title again, it really they make people they wonder what's happening. I mean, what's going on? What's going on? All right, all right, I don't need to take her too much for inside the studio right now. We get the producer, one of the lead cast for inside the beauty. Now, the lead cast name be the man who is blessed amongst women. Mm -hmm. Um now Chris we get for inside the studio this morning, and of course. Um, we get a producer herself inside the beauty <laughs> in the person of Ureke. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Be all right. Be all right. Very all right, Daddy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's beautiful. All right. So let me start with the producer because I'm say, um, producer, I'm say, work plenty yeah. when they do movie. Mm -hmm. Now, why that title for all time's sake? Because um, when you watch the film, the storyline, and um, everything we have inside the film gets as you connect with the title. So how you take money to sit down, think of the title? Because now the title first come your head or now the story. I mean, for people where they try, mm. for people they try to understand how they, they take name movies. Mm. Now say you don't write the story, you don't really think of the story, mm -hmm. then you say, okay, let me now look for a title for mm -hmm. this story. Or the title will not hit you. You can't find a story mm. where go work out in line with that title. Mm. No, we don't write the story before. And the name will be for for all time's sake. The name now salsa dancer. Oh, yes, huh. because the um, dance teacher now salsa teacher. So um, I can't say if we leave him as salsa dancer, it go mean saying the only salsa the guy danced throughout the film. So we can't say if we change him. So we can't change him to for all time's sake. All time's sake, mm. beautiful. Now when you they look for casts for mm. certain roles, mm. I mean because. As you say, some of those roles were quite intense. <laughs> were quite intense. I could feel, I could feel the emotion <laughs> from, from the TV there. So when you they pick people, mm. how you they take notes saying that the right person did this? Mm. Or say this person will feel handle mm -hmm. um, this responsibility we'll get. Take, for example, him. Okay. Picking Chris. Mm. Chris, um, I don't already approach some other people before. Where, um, nobody said they Sabi dance or they Sabi... Um, Nobody said in Sabi dance, and I don't. Um, I don't say Chris Sabi dance, but when I meet Chris, oh my God! I don't. I don't say Chris Sabi dance. You guys are putting me on the spot, anyway. Um. <laughs> I don't say Chris Sabi dance. So, but um, for some reason, me and Chris never talked for a um, very long time since the last project where me and I do. So, when are they cast for this character? I call me some other people. Say make them do the um, do the role for me, and I don't say they know Sabi dance. But I go pray, and for some reason, divine intervention, Chris' name can't drop from my head. Ah, ah. Yes. Choi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the way God does the job yes, for so. kind of say, maybe they drop the money like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Chris' so, name can't drop from my head. Beautiful. And um, I can't call him. I ask him, say, see, wait, see the project where I want to do, whether I can uh, get time, first of all. And see what in, and see what in the project entail. So I can't send them the script. In read, I mean like um, can't come. It's okay, yes. So I can't say make him come for reading. So in come for reading and smashed it. Beautiful. Yes. All right. So Chris, I enter you now because um, you are an actor. You don't inside the industry for a while now. So you you know how the game is being played. Uh, how lucrative this business don't do for you? Uh, I, know I mean, of course, people think they are, they, they are paying billions. They might be paying <laughs> you billions. So really, how, how lucrative is it? Uh, what I could talk be say for now, eh, they pay some certain bills. They never, we never hit that kind of money where they find. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why we do Ah, you see they find the more money? You know the belly food. With now. all this packaging? How now? You know the belly food now. Even then, they see they find money now. <laughs> Yeah. Oh boy! So, but it, it don't pay some certain bills, certain which bills, obviously yeah? we, we are grateful to God for that. But we still do. Now why we still they work hard? They look for that one hit. We be say, I feel just say I no do acting again. But I don't think so. <laughs> 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 okay, so um, now every script where you they get, now you they actually feature in. No, 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 definitely not. The thing about me be say, I know, I know where they try go for my career, and because okay. of that, not be every script where I collect, where they jump on. Because if I read script, we say I know two or three other people that can play that role, and I don't feel like it's challenging enough for me. I could just free him in a very nice way. Maybe the producer no can they get some kind. You know how producers mm -hmm. can be mm -hmm. waiting if they feel like now nah, mm -hmm. because he don't do one or two things. You get, but I know just I like do things. We say when you work finish, reach house, you gonna say you work. 
beautiful. And that was one of the reasons we see these scripts when I see them. And me, that person, we see I don't do dance since I'm small. And I, I never really do the kind of dance thing where I want to do. So as I just see the script, she say dance, they involve. I know be just normal dance, some kind of salsa, they inside the <laughs> hip hop, they even our own normal Niger dance, they inside. Then the acting join, and then the character, the story, how it connects yeah. to everybody else in the film. I tell myself, see, we need to do this one. Beautiful. So that's now why I actually picked for this script too, because of some of the things where they're quite challenging for inside there. All right, now looking at um, looking at the entertainment industry, we know say plenty of people they actually try come in um, come come into probably the thing say when you once you enter once you enact once you don't do one film you go blow or you don't blow. Now for people like that, what do you feel to tell them? People who want to enter the industry, we will also act movies. We feel say ah she better sit down in front of camera. After we not sit down in front of camera, it's very easy to do. I mean some people, um, especially young people of nowadays, they just feel say they don't need to work so hard. Mm. Just give me a script. If you don't have a script, act. I'll call act. That's what it will be. No, you know, be like that. In a wrong mindset, make I just tell anybody where they are, they won't come to this industry. In a wrong mindset. Now, I'm not going to lie, say, you get some people will be saying, I'm not going to mention names. We don't enter this industry, maybe in the last two, two, three years. For some reason, God just shine light upon them. They don't blow. No means say people don't, they, as young or old as I might look, I don't know as I appear for your eye, mm -hmm. but I don't they do this work for more than 10 years. Yes. So people with day we don't they do this work for a long time. Okay. You know me see they never blow. You know me see they don't blow. Maybe they just they one particular level, level, depending on what thing they find. It's still very possible for you to enter. God shine light on top. Luck. Maybe mm -hmm. you get one. I always tell people you just need one very good job. Now that very good job may not necessarily bring plenty of money, but if it puts you on a level where you say other people go see you, cannot give you better jobs. We go bring mm -hmm. the money come. Mm -hmm. So I just feel, say, people will want to come to the industry. May they come with an open mind. May they not come with the mind, say, as I just enter the money, they come. Like, because when disappointment first hits you, like this, if you just discourage, you say, you know, do it again. Because the work no easy now. At all, mm -hmm. no easy at all. Now, as um, the movie producer herself, as a female movie producer in the industry, mm -hmm. and as a young person, mm -hmm. I mean, for anybody to be producer, that means that the person needs to be gallant. <laughs> <laughs> you need to have certain people behind you. So that if anybody won't push you for front, you get mm. people for back where you feel lean against mm. or lean on top of them. Mm. So how we don't do for you as a female mm -hmm. movie producer in the mm. industry, how people don't take you serious? I mean, and how have people taken mm. you for granted? In the, because we're not saying a male-dominated industry mm. be this. Mm -hmm. And with what people, they talk them. Mm -hmm. Then they say, mm -hmm. if you be a woman, mm -hmm. if you know mm -hmm. open legs, certain things no go happen. <laughs> so really tell us how it yes. is. Um, for me, oh, I agree with you, say, as a woman, you're already endangered in any, in any business in Nigeria. And then um, for filmmaking, I go say one of the people who give me, um, who have inspired me to even enter this, um, enter the phase of producing now, people like M.M. Isong, who did it when um, it was ma majority men. Maybe if you can't like, maybe, maybe another one female producer at that time when M.M.E. Song Day. In fact, I don't think so if you remember another female producer um, when, uh, during M.M.E. Song's time. Not only her, among all these men, and marketers, Shylocks, you know, and, but person like her don't encourage people like me to come up now that way don't they more liberating for us women. Secondly, as a woman um, in the um, entertainment industry or in any business at all, you got to do very, very, um, Make I not say hard, but you've got to be very, very strong against your male counterparts. If not, they go use your head, you know. And um, for me, um, like, like you said, I had um, a lot of backing, a lot of support. People where I feel called, say, see what's going to happen, see what's going to happen. They go step in and say, okay, no, we won't let this happen to you. And they go follow this person talk or follow that person talk to arrange the matter for me or to sort out the issue for me, you know. And um, personally, the kind of person where I be, I be the kind of person where I'm not going to ever feel, let you take advantage of me um, because I already know the industry where I day in and the, 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 the country where I day in. So I'd say you get to really toughen up, you know, if you want to do anything at all. And they go come, they go try you. Um, no matter how hard you did, they go try you. So you just have to toughen up and just um, face it head on, shall I say. Is that mm. good? Beautiful. So now I'm going to come back to Chris. Chris, now looking at you and looking at this role where you actually do, because you'll be sing, you'll be dance, and you'll be act. Combining those three together, for inside this movie, 
How sweet you be there. Time not the way they take light. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, because I'm just trying to imagine. So imagine you did dance and you, maybe you don't do this, maybe you don't redo that scene like three, four times. Mm. And then you had to do it the fifth time and you were just, in fact, produce that body the sweet time. They just take like flash. Or battery don't run down, bagam, during production. Because this production is bound yeah. to happen. Yeah. So, I mean, for you, tell us how, how encouraging it be there, or how sweet it be there, or how bitter it be there, taking three in one row for the price of one. Uh, make a look at this way. <laughs> now, you talk on yourself. See, we don't, like I said before, we've been in this game for a long time, and we don't understand how certain things yeah. they work. We know for production, things can fall apart. Uh, but the mindset be say, how do we proceed? Considering the fact, say the movie, I did do a lot of physically challenging stuff, like the dancing way we did do. But from my experience from dance, we are done the dancing since I small. I already know that whenever you have to do a performance, whether you are doing it for TV or you are doing it live, you are going to have to rehearse for a long time. And rehearsal means doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Which, when it now comes to TV, my experience from filmmaking, from acting, where I know that there's going to be a take one, a take two, they could do why, they could do see you. So all those things combined together in, the, in my, I would call it my box of experience, I already knew what to expect. So when things like that happen, you know they throw me off because I know that at the end of the day, we they still need to do them and we need to do them well. Because anything worth doing is worth doing well. Mm -hmm. So of course, there were times we'd be so good at dance, the thing will make mistake, which could not require us to start from the beginning. Over again. Yet, which is fine. You get frustrating, but at the end of the day, the work will they do? What we go? What we go do now? I know be doctor, I know they inside surgery, uh, surgery room where they cause person brain. And the work where I don't choose, and every work where they do, no matter the kind of work where they do, comes with its own challenges. You, you need to embrace them, carry the good joint, carry the bad joint, and just do the work that you need to do. Beautiful. And we had people we be saying they even encourage us. Most of the dancers were professionals, actors were professionals, so it was good. Now, looking at the industry and looking at how certain lines or certain stories for the um, certain, certain scripts, when you pick them up, when you go fall in love with them, um, has there ever been a time where the script, you fall in love with the script, so they, even with the cast, even with everything, you so they, you, you, see, you can't act them as a real life movie. <laughs> That's, that means that it may say, you will not come off on that, that, that production, you will not finish everything, but it can't be like, say, the film needs to continue in real life. And then you pick them up and subconsciously, because I don't say for every actor, they, you have to also wear, you have to put on the outfit, and then when you're done with the production, you take it out. But it never gets any time where you forget to come on the jacket of this acting. <laughs> Truth is, for myself, I don't know about... Also, you fall for probably about... one of the cast, because some of them, <laughs> I mean, there's some scenes you took that are, they're quite sensational. <laughs> uh, well, wait till I go talk, BC. Me, I believe that whatever we do on the screen, no matter how hard it is, my primary objective as an actor, which I believe is the same objective as my co-actors in that particular scene, be say, make we make whatever we did do be as real and as believable as possible. Once the camera cuts, whatever happens behind the scenes is not the audience's business. True. You get what you are doing. True talk. that. Then, because of the fact, say, every movie that I do, I wear my car, I wear my like clothes, like you talk. Sometimes they take time to come off. But because, say, we the pre make we they busy. Once the next film they come, you're going to need to come out and buy from them. So you go wear, <laughs> so you go wear the next one. So you don't go wear the two or the past three where you don't do joint. You go confuse the car the way way they play now. So, yeah, I know that ideally, over there, where we they try reach, we have enough time to get into character and get out of character. We don't have that luxury here where we have to jump from set to set because we have bills to pay, so we need to work. Uh, so, we did rugged them as we did go. Now, Nigeria, we did. Now, we already know mm. how the system be. That's last, we did all right. Last now, last. looking at you, the producer, because I know, say, I see you. So, not only were you the producer, mm. you said follow act. Was they to, uh, were you working with a budget in terms of, you know, <laughs> trying to reduce certain costs? Because that extra person will not fall with you. <laughs> if you act, and I need that, you understand, lead actress. I, I, if not be you, actor, mm. I don't say the money where you for pay that person. <laughs> Now, nah, man, you have been punching calculator now. What is exchange with? Hey! <laughs> oh, oh. So tell us, as an actress, mm -hmm. um, as an actress for the, for the movie and also a producer, how have you take manage, um, handle those two responsibilities? And you took a lead role yes. for that matter. How have you take one? Okay, for me, first of all, I don't see how I go do all this work behind the scenes, conquer and give another person, you know? Because I feel like, I, oh, my, that's my payment at the end of the day. So, um, but... Even though with all of that, it's hard to, to produce and to act, to manage production, to manage the people, because even though you, go, you get people where they're supposed to do those things on set, but you go still, they micromanage them small, small. 
They make sure everything go according to plan. Make sure you deal on budget. Make sure you know overshoot. Make sure you know past the days where you're supposed to shoot, you know. And um, it did very challenging. But I don't do them before. Now I don't do them again. So I don't do they used to them. Um, you know, so and I feel still do them again. again. I work with a budget. <laughs> I work with a bigger budget. budget. With a bigger budget. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, beautiful. So tell us, um, any future plans for before future plans? Mm -hmm. When we actually get this movie? Ah, uh -uh. I need to know where to get this movie. Yes, when no. is it hitting the cinema? Twentieth <laughs> of September. Oh, Ego Day Cinema. Twentieth of September. For Lagos, yeah, yeah. For everywhere. Private screening or public screening? From the twentieth, it's gonna be in Austin. Roll out nationwide. 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 Yes. So you can literally YouTube. walk in and. And Unago did there we go for one of the cinemas. We go ICM on 20th. We go, go day there. there. We go even dance for Una that day. Wow. Was to be a secret. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, so what are your plans for the future? I mean, um, this is one project that is done and dusted. Yes. Success, beautiful. Yes. yes. What's next? Next is, fingers crossed, to continue to produce more, to act more, and... My ultimate dream would be to make her go back to London, produce for mainstream UK t television. Beautiful. And Chris, what will be your future plans? Um, we won't follow in their footsteps. Me, I'd also like to... But you get like four more, seven more scripts we need to go through. <laughs> no, act in self-studio. We're going to do that one day go. Mm. But like she said, there are some kinds of things we say you could just need to you owe yourself. Mm. So I owe myself mm. my own production. I don't produce before. Associate producer for another movie. I'm not going to mention the name because nobody will we come for. Mm. But I would like to do my own film where I know say... And nobody because of pride make I answer producer. They get some kind of things where we say you get the power to do when you're listening at your own film. If another person project you do, you don't necessarily have that freedom or that liberty to do. You know, the script, I don't write them. I get like two or three self. So I will just pray. Make God just throw this money. Make you use this money and balance us <laughs> like this. Go oh, carry and go do the kind of movie we want. And then subsequently, they do more movies, they go. And then still pushing the acting. Chris, are you single? Am I married or am I single? Because you, you know, single? Single, they're no, different. No, he's too. not. Single, they're different. He's not. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so should I, help, should I help you I answer? Ask. So. <laughs> To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.